Talent Spark's very much there to try and aid small businesses right from the very early stages, you know, to give them the right advice. And certainly our team have got that, that knowledge to say who it is that they need and, and, and what sort of level of experience they need. The startup market has grown hugely in the last 18 months to two years. Um, we've had the likes of FanJewel and Skyscanner being announced as uh, unicorn companies. Free agent have floated on the AIM market and I think that kind of investment and excitement has given people an appetite to actually go out and start tech companies. To my business personally, the startup and entrepreneurial um, part of it is actually vitally important. Um, without it, we wouldn't have you know, kind of good talent coming out into the marketplace who've got different and more exciting things they can do with their careers. Everybody effectively would go and rot in the, uh, in the big banks, um, whereas actually it's really healthy to have a vibrant SME community that people can move out into when they get to a certain point in their career. In terms of skill shortages and challenges, yeah, there is. There's a big challenge, particularly with a lot of companies who are doing niche technology for areas like optical work or photonics or hardware design, electronics design, they're really kind of niche, tough areas to find good candidates, particularly with not so many people doing that at university anymore. Um, it's trying to find these guys is, is getting harder and harder. Talent whilst building a small business is everything. It can be a really difficult thing for people to get because it's such a personal thing at an early stage startup and um, to employ people um, is your baby um, and it's, it's sort of fostering that culture is, it can be quite tricky. We are, you know, we are skilled in what we do, we know the market very well um, and it's just sort of educating them and how they can work forward and develop it. One piece of advice I'd give um, a small business when they're just starting to recruit, um, know your culture um, and, and be able to communicate that with, with people. Obviously there's a lot of competition out there for talented people, for well-skilled individuals, so really you need to know what, what your culture is and, and, and sell that to them. Products are important, obviously services are important, that's core, that's vital to your business. But if it's not surrounded by uh, core values and a, and a brand that people can really buy into, then people won't stay and they won't, they won't come to your company and get involved because they want to be there from the very start and, and be passionate about what it is you do.